Hey there, folks. It's Bobo the Vulture. I uh, poured myself a nice mug of tea. I'm sitting back, the PlayStation 2 logo whooshed on. I think you all know what this means. You didn't even need to see that brown, brown box. Or the Atlas logo. Or Irem. Irem. Irem, where did we go wrong? Get ready for Steambot Chronicles. Was it in Steambot Chronicles? I hope you enjoy it. Steambot Chronicles. Connie really hopes that we enjoy Steambot Chronicles. I will note, in the band? Um, Battle Mode Chronicles. has been unlocked. I believe we used to have two different question mark modes. A relaxing, non-linear Now adventure. Battle Mode is available. Steambot Chronicles. I don't have anybody else I want to play against, though. Although I'm not sure if that's how that mode works. I'll have to go back up, go back and look it up later. Um, I'm the charitable admirer. That is definitely the uh, the game I want to load up, though. Friday morning, Friday evening, and we got fun. Well, so as you recall last time, folks, I lost the Ultimate Trot Mobile Championship. So. I guess I'm not the ultimate trot mobile. I beat Schneider. That pretty well, right, guys? Oh well. Um, you also may have noticed by this point. I'm not sure whether or not it is very evident as far as the uh, appearance of the game so far. But um, I tried to adjust my recording settings a little bit. If you're in Happy Island, then you better enjoy shopping. I will slit your throat if I find out you don't. Even on a single street. Well, that's good, because there are only like three or four streets in the city. You heard about the Bloody Mantis? Of course I have. Oh, do you know they have a hideout somewhere in the city? Of course I have. If you're no fun. Do you know where the hideout is? I do. I now know. We do. I now know. As a matter of fact, that was one of the things that happened last time, folks. Discovered. Welcome. The uh, ancient side of the Bloody Mantis people. Hi, Connie. How are you doing? I want as many people as possible to hear our music, Connie. Never mind. Hey, man. How you doing? Yes, you do play those three musical instruments, Marjoram. You're gonna ask me if I'm ready to start a show. No. I'm not gonna play a show. Hey, Savory. Music is mysterious. You're even more mysterious. Savory, how about you tell us your secrets? It allows us to befriend people we've never actually met. It's true. The stranger is just a friend we haven't met. Call them Globetr Globetrotters perform regularly. Thanks to Aptivia. Aptivia! Got my bicycle. Nothing can stop me now that I've got my bike on. Get your bike on. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Police and fire. I feel like I should at least attempt to talk to the people at the police and firehouse. You folks at home, stop me if I uh, already tried to do this after finding out the hideout of the Bloody Mantis. Finding out its location. I haven't been there yet. Because, honestly, I don't have any business there. I don't want to go join the Bloody Mantis. Although, this is pretty much that crucial point in the game. Where they talk about... at the Where, you know, like you, you probably heard that one guy during the uh, opening of the game occasionally say, Be a bad guy if you want. Steambot Chronicle. That's, this is pretty much what he's talking about. You can go and take up that guy's offer and join the ancient or enlightened society of the Bloody Mantis or whatever. I want to know about the Bloody Mantis. Um, I want to tell you... I want you to know about the Bloody Mantis. Fine. I can't get the cops to do anything about it. Apparently. What if I come back here? Yes. Uh, I could help you if only you would listen to me. If only I would say something. I 
Alright. Anyhow. Oof. Let's run over a guy on our bicycle. Then, um... I'm gonna go try Father Guido Sarducci again, because I've had a couple of people say in comments, and I was pretty sure that this was the case, but that, um... The person that we're supposed to name in the guessing game with Father Guido Sarducci is Connie. Now, I put in Connie's name before, and yet nothing much seemed to come of it, so... I'm gonna have to try again. Let us confess our sins. I'll ask him about it. You know about the accident? I will tell you about the sin of this city. It happened when a guy got hit by a car and there were people screaming. Why didn't anyone help? And the culprit of the crime was rich. And it was all sorts of terrible. Would that friend have been? Wait, is Connie spelled Connie or Coriander or... Uh, you know what? I'm going to check the manual to make absolutely sure. See what they say in the manual. Do -do. While you listen to the sad music of Father Guido Sardu. He's really sad. It's, yeah. Hope it's with one arm. Cor. Corian. D. E. Buddy, I'm almost positive you're talking about Coriander. Gotta make sure one more time. C O R. I-A-N-D-E-R. That's how it's spelled in the manual. That's how I thought it was spelled. A friend who came let me to meet Chicory was. Was it Coriander? Is the name correct? Yes. That's right. It was Connie of the Garland Cloth Brothers. She and Chicory were supposed to meet in front of the station to buy Dandelion's birthday gift. At any rate, it is something the people of this city will soon forget. Such a grave sin. No, I'm alright. I already know everything about it. Now then, with armed with that knowledge, um, will talking to Connie produce anything? A heartfelt moment of any description? Heartburn? I don't know, folks. I'm asking. I'm not telling. I'm asking. As you'll see to the left there. Um, well, no, that was one of the food parts. One of the locations along this street here is Fashion Posure. <clears throat> we have to go into the changing room there to uh, go Welcome. to the... Uh, Headquarters of Bloody Mantis. If uh, that's what we want to do. Not as many possible to hear music. No. I guess I can't talk to her about it right now. That's fine. I don't want to talk to you about it anyway. Should I have other business in town? I'm pretty sure that my next real order of business right now was to. Uh, Pretty sure my next order of business was just to get the shipping license to Cat and Sexy Pants. Speaking of which, welcome to uh, my new subscriber, whose username is Cat and Sexy Pants. Um, 
know if that's actually Captain Sexy Pants or uh, just somebody who is such a fan of this Let's Play that they made a uh, YouTube name based on the nickname I gave the character of Captain Shibulet. Shibulet. Not really sure how you how you say it, which is weird because I took French. Shibulet, by the way, is the French word for chives, apparently. Chives. Um, so don't worry, not even, uh, Captain Sexy Pants is immune, uh, to the, let me see here, option. Open. No. Item, that's what I was looking for. So I want to look at my memo pad real quick. Up here, yeah. Yeah, I was told to go to Fashion Poseur if I wanted to join the Bloody Mantis. I don't really want to, though. Um... Sir John came to see me, and I told him where Mallow was. I beat that ruffian Dudley! Connie liked my desert garb, but now we'll never see her in uh, let's see. I, I am the mayor. The station manager of Neferberg. We didn't get to do that. Until the Florida flowers didn't have enough water. She was sad because she'd been looking forward to watching Bloom. Now she's out of seeds. See, so many of these things that I wanted to get done. I wanted to... Now Pablo is at Fort Raven. I believe he's going to want to cross the desert. And I wanted to be able to escort him across the desert. But... I work to get to expand stand. Well, that's one thing I needed to do while I'm in town. Uh, especially before it gets dark. I need to go to the university and uh, describe the answer to that uh, crazy chalkboard problem that uh, Bookworm Robert was able to figure out. You guys remember Booker Robert, right? He was one of the three orphans. You know, those three orphans have a hard knock life. It is a hard knock life for them. Oh, come on. Let me go. There we go. Loading screen time. In the west of Happy Garland. Let's keep going here. <clears throat> oh, that is good tea. I just had to stop to take a slurp, folks. Sorry. Oh, that is excellent tea, my gosh. I was afraid that it wasn't going to go very well because it looked a little bit odd when I first poured it. Ah, don't mind me, kids. I'm just going to stumble up these stairs. You know? Yeah, it's the evening. I'm not going to spend too much more time wandering around. Let's see, this is the science department. Was it a science question? I think it might have been. Complex equation on the board. Hey, buddy. Huh? You're... that's... Eureka! I have found it. This is incredible! The solution to the problem I've been working on for a better part of my 34 years as a professor! A kid I know solved it. Is that true? A boy solved this problem? Yes, it's Doogie Hauser. Could you give this to the boy? An approval to enter Garland University. I would be honored to have such a bright young man attend our university. Please deliver it to him. Yes, I will deliver the letter to him. None of the rest of you chumps are going to have anything to do to say. I can just tell. I can tell. But I won't! Ha 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 ha! Take that, rest of the world. Time to get on my bike. You know what? I'm pretty much going to... 
I don't suppose while I'm here, I can magically summon my Trotmobile to a traffic cone. That would be too simple. Call the trot mobile to me like it was Kit from Night Rider or something. <laughs> I can. Michael, I've arrived and you're as your trot mobile. Okay, here we go. Let's uh. Actually, let's go ahead and save the data. Yeah. It's a little early, I know, but, um, I'm on my way out of town, so the adventuring off into the next town can uh, go on into the next video. Which is all next time. And, uh, until that next time, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.